my first memory about going to public school was when my mom dropped me off at harvest ring elementary school in reno nevada i started to cry when she left me in the kindergarten class to stop me from crying the teacher gave me a paintbrush and sat me down in front of a painting easel i began to paint and haven't stopped since in the fourth grade i won first place in a poster contest and was given ten dollars. I used the money to help buy groceries for our large family. I have two sisters and six brothers. During my elementary years I was encouraged to do artwork by my teachers. In junior high school I started selling my paintings to teachers and school staff to get money to help me pay for my basketball trips. At an early age I realized the value of my artwork. It was as if I could see each painting as a $10 bill, which was a lot of money at the time. I also used my art talent to keep my grades up. For example, I would do anatomy drawings in my biology class and murals of Pyramid Lake for my school. One day, my high school teacher asked me, what are you going to do when you graduate from high school? I told him, I don't know. He replied, nobody is gonna give you anything you are going to have to work for it. In 1968, I graduated from high school, and the next thing you know, I was on a Greyhound bus to Oakland, California, to attend the California College of Arts and Crafts. With my teacher's encouragement and a letter of recommendation, I was one of a handful of Native students who graduated with a Bachelor of Fine Arts from one of the best private schools on the West Coast. I was in the Bay Area during a time of rapid social change, which influenced my art. My name is Ben Alec, Numu Kuyuitikara. I am a member of the Pyramid Lake Paiute Tribe of Nevada. I grew up on the Reno Sparks Indian Colony in Reno, Nevada, and have always lived on the res, except when I was attending school. Art has been my first love. It takes me to places where I find peace from troubles in the world. It is a place where I can express my own thoughts and ideas and where I find freedom. At times it can also be a lonely place. I'm fortunate that I am blessed with this gift. Today I am the manager of the Pyramid Lake Museum Visitor Center located in Nixon, Nevada. In my work I have encouraged other traditional and contemporary artists and partnered with different organizations to create opportunities to exhibit their work. I believe a person may have a gift or a talent, but the talent needs to be refined. The way to refine it is through education from formal educators and from traditional knowledge keepers. Go out there and refine your skills and talents. Work for it. Always try to reach your goals.